Tonight, a main family is wondering what's next for its business after a massive fire. We first brought you this story on New Center Main at 11 last night. Now in the light of day, it's clear that not much of this barn is left standing after it was engulfed in flames. Welcome to New Center Main at 530. Everybody, I'm Zach Blanchard and I'm Chris Costa. Thanks for joining us tonight. Crews are working to clear the rubble and debris and we're getting more details on exactly what was lost in the fire. New Central Maine's Sean Stackhouse has been in Gorham all day and joins us live now from Flaggy Meadow Farm. Sean, you got to speak to some of the people who responded when that call went out for help. Yeah, Chris and Zach, that's right. I spoke with Gorham's fire chief who tells me this more than 100 year old barn is completely destroyed. There were also four cows that were killed in the blaze. Those that work to put out this destructive fire and bring additional cows to safety describe what happened last night. And when I pulled in my driveway, it, the whole thing went up in flames, just a split second. Rubble is all that remains from Flaggy Meadow Farms Dairy Barn. Cameron Dearborn lives in the home right next to the barn and says he worked there for eight years. He says when he arrived home Tuesday night, he quickly started helping move cows out of the barn to safety. Yeah, anyone, anyone that shows up, you, you help. Fire officials say four cows did not make it out of the barn and were killed. Dearborn says luckily many of the cows were already outside. Yeah, I thought there was gonna be a lot more, but luckily they milk before the fire happens. So they're all turned out. There's not a lot of bonds left in Gorham now. Gorham Fire Chief Ken Fickett says after working to fight the fire and prevent it from spreading to more buildings, crews realized there were still some cows in the bar. So we stopped all deck on operations and went in and um, got the cows out. And there was, I believe, five or six cows that they rescued out of there. Many of the surviving cows were taken to nearby farms. The chief says the old building filled with hay caught fire quickly. So it's old and it went up quick. With the initial pictures from the police department, as well as some of the fire trucks that showed up with cameras on board, um, it was well involved when we got here. And Sean, are you hearing anything about what caused the fire at this point? So officials have not yet determined exactly what caused this fire. Chief Fickett tells me that the Maine State Fire Marshal's Office is expected to return here tomorrow to determine exactly what started the blaze. And we'll bring you the latest on air and online as we learn it. All right, Sean Stackhouse live in Gorham. Thanks very much.